Okay, has the latest. This is Zane and Zane and the little one. Pictures are all Ramiz Yunus can hold in his hand while he feels his family is slipping from his grasp. My biggest fear, of course, getting the bad news, which I am expecting any moment. Ramiz's wife, son, and daughter were visiting family in Gaza City when it went under siege. They've had close calls with two bombings, which prevented a border crossing and made one shelter they were in unlivable. Ramiz says his wife is a green card holder, while he, his two-year-old son, and his eight-month-old daughter are all American citizens. He was in Little Rock while they were visiting family in Palestine, and he says every day has gotten worse. They've been trapped in a situation called war. It's not a war. It's basically a bloodbath. It is a massacre. With food, water, and shelter all becoming harder to find, he filed a lawsuit against the Departments of State and Defense because he says Americans abroad should be their top priority, such as Americans in Israel who have already been flown out of the country. Different people being treated differently. And the excuses are that, you know, it's hard, it's difficult. It's not. It's just excuses. Wednesday, the Department of State gave good news. There are a number of American citizens who have crossed through Rafah and are in Egypt today. The State Department said it will take many days for about a thousand Americans and their families to get through along with other nationalities. Ramiz hopes that will include his family soon. It's so <clears throat> heartbreaking.